although Chrome's Flex is more than enough for daily usage, the lack of Android and Google Play Store can make the experience less than satisfactory. On the other hand, Prime OS, which is a very popular Android OS, does come with the Android and Google Play Store support. So for example, an app called WPS Office can make easier to edit Word documents, Excel sheet and presentation right on your computer. So this is just one of the example of million of apps that you can download from the Google Play Store. And also from apart from apps, we can play games and not only with our mouse and uh, touchpad, we can use our keyboard, the WASD keys, the control and stuff to move, jump, crouch. And it's all possible because of Prime OS unique feature of key mapping. So let us see how we can move from Chrome OS Flex to Prime OS. So let's get started. So first we need to boot into our BIOS. So press your BIOS key while booting up. And then you need to enter your BIOS settings. In the BIOS settings we will disable the secure boot and legacy boot. So if you have already done that you can skip ahead. So you can find those settings in the boot or security options. So for my computer in Azus, you need to find it under the security settings and you need to find the option something called secure boot and disable it. And similarly you also need to find if your computer is old the legacy boot settings and also disable that. Then just save your settings and boot into the Chrome OS Flex. Now open the Chrome browser and visit the Prime OS official website. Here we will download the ISO image. So first we need to select our 6 device option. So we will select the S86. Then this version you need to select according to your chipset. So for their newer chipsets that are newer than 2014 you need to select mainline. Similarly you need to find the correct version for your chipset. So just search for your chipset and the release year and download the correct version you can check the progress in the bottom right and after the file has been downloaded we need to go to the file manager right click on the downloaded file and then select rename we will add .bin after .iso so just add the name and press enter now in the chrome browser we will click on the top right and select extensions now we need to go to the web chrome web store from this link and here we will search in the search box for chromebook recovery utility and after a while you will see an extension like this you need to add this to your browser then you can go to the extension and see that it is added just click on it and it will open up this window now here we will now plug in our pen drive and then click on the gear icon and select erase recovery media select your pen drive and erase it so we do not have any issues further now just select on create another now click again on the gear icon and use local storage now select the downloaded iso image select your pen drive now select continue and it will start the process now we need to wait patiently for as it will take some time and after it's finished we will uh, power off but before that uh, i will advise you to back up anything important to an external drive as the entire storage will be wiped out and now we need to power off our device and press the boot key with the power button here select your pen drive from the list and now we will select the prime os installation So here we will select the biggest drive available. So for me it is the 923GB SDA1. Similarly choose a storage that is the highest. Now format is uh, format it as XT4. Now continue. Here uh, select yes. So now it will uh, create the partition. So now we can reboot first to see if the um, the grub is working fine or not it may give you some error so we need to check it first and you will see some menu like this so it will automatically boot into prime os and you can just press enter so after a while you will see the prime os boot animation and it may take some time before booting up in the setup screen 
and after that you can log in with your google account and you start using the prime os so that was how you can move from chrome os flex to prime os and if you want to check out other android os do make sure to check out the android os playlist so that was it for this video and i'll see you in the next one